The first you know about type 2 diabetes could be that you're thirsty, and I mean really thirsty, all the time. And you spend more time in the loo than you could ever imagine. Sound familiar? It could go with a bit of blurry vision, tiredness or thrush. Or you may not have any symptoms at all and it's been picked up on a routine check. A GP can test for diabetes by looking at the glucose levels in your blood. If you've just been given those results, then don't panic. I'm here to support you and help you become an expert on what's happening to you. It's a put the kettle on moment and have a cup of tea. The idea is that I'm going to help you take charge of the situation. If you understand what's going on inside your body and what you can do to control it, then you will be the best possible expert to deal with what's happening to you. It makes sense. We've based our films on well-established findings. If you understand what's happening to you and how to make decisions yourself to manage your health and know where to get support and guidance, then we know that you're more likely to make the right kind of changes to your lifestyle to help you feel better and be healthier. So, it's a bit of a no-brainer. So, to be super clear, we're talking about type 2 diabetes. Ready? OK. You eat carbohydrates, that's sugar and starches, like cereals and bread. They're the food group that your body uses as fuel. To get that fuel into the body, the body uses a chemical called insulin. Think of it as the key that opens your cells to let energy in. But when you have diabetes, either the locks don't work anymore, or your body isn't making enough of the insulin keys it needs. Energy is locked out and builds up in the bloodstream and you'll feel tired. It's not until that energy gets into the cells of our organs and muscles that we can use it and feel energised. Meanwhile, that energy, which is basically glucose or sugar, builds up in the blood. Your kidneys are working overtime to get rid of it. Some sugar can leak into your urine, bringing with it lots of fluid, which can make you want to wee loads and accounts for why you might be so thirsty. And if you can bear a bit more detail, sugar is a brilliant food for fungal and other infections, so they have a field day. It can also make the lens of your eye change shape, which is what can make your eyesight blurry, and all the fluid and sugar loss can make you tired, dehydrated and constipated. So that's why you may have been feeling rotten. But don't panic. Now you've been diagnosed, you can start to get control and feel much better. OK, so you know what's going on inside your body. You're probably wondering, why did it happen and what can I do about it? The truth is, there isn't just one simple cause. Frustrating. But we do know that diabetes tends to run in some families and in some ethnic groups. That, together with other risk factors like obesity, especially if the fat settles on your belly, not doing much exercise, a bad diet and getting older, can all make you more likely to develop diabetes. The good news is you can live in such a way that you can get your sugar levels back to normal and lead a full and healthy life. It's up to you. I'm sure that's enough for now from me. But when you're ready, take a look at the film called So What Can I Do? and I'll tell you more about it.